let's talk about natural remedies for organ transplant. Now, before you apply any of this information, check with your doctor. I'm not telling you to come off your medication or replace your medication with these natural remedies, but there's a handful of people who came up to me in the past and wanted to know what can they do in addition to their medications. And with some people, they're taking this anti-rejection medication and uh, with a lot of side effects, and it's not working as well as it should, and so they wanted some additional things to take. Because here's the thing, when you have a liver transplant or a kidney transplant, um, your own immune system is going to reject it unless you are getting it from an identical twin. And so we have this huge inflammatory situation. So your doctor is gonna start putting you on drugs that suppress the immune system, okay? And they have side effects, increasing your risk of infection, uh, worsening your digestive system. So what can you do? Is there anything you can do to help possibly reduce the amount of these medications as you're taking it? Of course, under the supervision of your doctor, okay? So I wanted to give you four things that uh, potentially could help. Number one, red sage. It's been used traditionally for Chinese medicine for a very long time. It's good for COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Uh, it's good for your heart, cardiovascular disease. It's good as a remedy if you had a stroke or even uh, in the prevention of getting a stroke. It's generally good just to increase circulation, but it has a very unique uh, immunomodulation property in which it helps to regulate the immune system so there's not this uh, excessive amount of inflammation. And there's been some interesting studies on organ transplants and using this directly. And I'll put those links down below. All right, number two, Thunder Duke Vine or Thunder God Vine. This has been shown to be effective in kidney transplants on mice. It's also good for rheumatoid arthritis and psoriasis and other autoimmune diseases. The third thing, which is very, very important, is a lot of vitamin D. And I'm talking about between 20 and 30,000 IUs of vitamin D every day. Because vitamin D is a very potent anti-inflammatory and it acts like a steroid or cortisone without the side effects. And prednisone is one of the common things that someone takes as an immunosuppressive agent in the countering of this inflammation when you have an organ transplant. And a side note about vitamin D is if you're taking higher amounts of vitamin D over a long period of time, just make sure that you're not taking excessive calcium. Uh, make sure you're drinking enough water like between two to 2.5 liters of fluid per day just to prevent any potential concentration of your urine in, in the development of a kidney stone. Not that that's gonna happen, but um, this can help make sure it doesn't happen. And number four, taking purified bile salts on an empty stomach. And you would take like maybe four of these per day. Why? Because bile salts um, help you absorb vitamin D, number one. And number two, they've been shown to help reduce inflammation, uh, especially if someone has an autoimmune problem. And what we're dealing with uh, when someone has an organ transplant is an inflammatory process. So those are the four things that I think would help someone uh, do some research, check it out, and see if it can help you. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.